Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slim Hacks and uh, Happy New Year to all my viewers and subscribers. And uh, this video is going to be about on how to uh, fix this error, 1604 on the iPhone. Uh, this error occurred by resetting all settings on the iPhone even though the iPhone is already jailbroken and it's unlocked with a basement of 6.15 from the iPad. And um, iTunes tries tries to restore it but then it recognizes that problem that it, because it has a 6.15 uh, basement so iTunes will will block the restore so it, it will not restore but this will work alright you want to download two links in the description one is irab r4.zip and then the other one is 4.2.1 custom firmware for your iPhone alright once you download those two uh, files you want to run irab r4 make sure your iPhone's on and by the way the iPhone screen should look like this right now because uh, it has a 1604 error and it should look something like this alright once uh, iRev um, opens up you wanna go to the section where it says iPhones and then you just wanna choose iPhone 3G and then you wanna put it into DFU and you hold it by holding the home button and power button at the same time and then just wait let go of the power button and then keep holding down the home button until you hear the the little dit dit sound on your windows computer then it's gonna say it's downloading essentials and you just want to wait Then it's gonna say your iPhone, your device is now in PWNED DFU state black screen. You may now launch iTunes and do Shift plus Restore to the custom firmware. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And that's exactly why we downloaded the custom firmware for 4.2.1 for your iPhone 3G. And you just wanna open up iTunes and make sure your iPhone is still connected. And then uh, iTunes will soon recognize your iPhone, and it's gonna say it's in recovery. You just wanna click OK, and this time you wanna hold Shift, and you wanna click Restore, and then browse for the custom firmware you downloaded. So it's right here, iPhone 4.2.1 custom firmware. I'm just gonna click Open, and then it's gonna say extracting software and then uh, iTunes should take it from there after um, after it installs a custom firmware on your iPhone your iPhone should be uh, running again well thank you for watching this video please comment thumbs up and subscribe for more iPhone tutorials this is PSP Slim Hacks bye